Hello, my name is Audrey Gordon, and I'd like to welcome you to the 25 Days of Copilots. This is a special series highlighting Microsoft Copilots for the Power Platform. And I am so excited to kick off today with a short introduction of the series so that you'll have a good understanding of what you should expect. So I'm gonna start by looking at one of the quotes of my leader. Satya Nadella said this in 2023, the most exciting thing about AI is not the technology itself, but what we can do with it when we apply it to real world problems and help people. I can't agree with this more. This is where we're not focusing on the technology, we're focusing on the democratization of ability that we're seeing because of the AI technologies that we have now. The things they can do to help us with real world problems and enable us to do more than we could ever have done independently on our own. So I do want to put in parentheses that uh, all of the photos, even this photo of Sacha here, that I'm showing you this morning, every single photo on each slide has been generated using AI. I created them using prompt engineering and it's very exciting to me to see myself able to create art that normally would take me years to learn how to create. So again, this is where I feel like this is a democratization of ability. This co-pilot era I'm excited about. It's where we're actually taking these foundation models which are uh, trained by OpenAI and we're creating a brand new category of software. Probably the most important category that has ever been created, the co-pilot. But I do want to stress what you see here on the center of this uh, image here. A co-pilot does exactly what the name suggests. It serves as a co-pilot with the user trying to accomplish a complex task. It is artificial intelligence which is not intended to be working independently of real human intelligence so take a minute and think about that because this is key to your ability to leverage co-pilots responsibly some consistent common denominators across the experiences that we will share within these 25 days is that they are powered by foundation models, uh, large language models, LLM or LMM. And we do not, Microsoft does not change the foundation model, nor does it need your data to train these models. They are already trained before you're, you even start to use them. Secondly, you'll notice something consistent is that there's usually a conversational user interface where you can tell the co-pilot what you'd like to be done through the method of prompts. And you'll get to see that all the way through these 25 days, so don't worry, you'll get to be an expert at prompting as well. Two other things you'll see is that co-pilots tend to have skills that can be scoped to the task at hand. So a co-pilot that you may have used in Excel, right, has different skills than the co-pilot you might see inside of a Power Apps app. So notice that we tend to support the skills that are for the task at hand uh, where you are working. And today you'll notice that these are scoped to the application layer so that you can really achieve more in that application. As we grow the ability to leverage these technologies, you're going to see this expand greatly. But at least in these 25 days, you can see how powerful it can be even today. And there's no delay on you doing anything we're going to be showing you. You can 
do everything we're showing you as well. We have a full panel of experts supporting this year's 25 days of co-pilots. And let me just introduce you to them for those of you that may not already know the four panel of experts this year. I'm gonna start with my dear friend, Daniel Christian, and I'm just going to share a short bio on each of these. Daniel's focus is on delivering efficient and competitive business solutions, particularly in Microsoft 365 and Azure services. His passion is around Microsoft Power Platform, Office servers, and AI and machine learning. His passion for building relationships between business and technology has made him a successful Microsoft MVP for many years. His community-driven spirit encourages him to remain active on social and technical communities by speaking at events, participating on social media, and blogging. I must say, I have known Daniel the longest. Uh, he has actually been a strong advocate and an inspiration to me since the very beginning of Power Apps. Next, I'd like to introduce April. Those of you, uh, many of you already know April. She's an amazing woman who codes with a passion for helping others build apps and automation with low code tools. As a Power Platform developer advocate at Microsoft, she helps app creators of all different backgrounds to discover how they can create impactful solutions with the Power Platform. As a true thought leader in this space, she is also an active blogger and YouTuber. Prior to joining Microsoft, April continuously demonstrated passion and technical acumen as a Power Platform MVP. I will add all of the YouTube channels for each of these people in the description below because they are all active YouTubers. Next, I wanna give a special shout out to Eric Ensi because he actually helped build the first uh, Dataverse advent calendar last year. We did 25 days of Dataverse. If you're interested in seeing what we did last year, it's aka.ms slash Dataverse advent calendar spelled out but no spaces there you can see 25 days from last year but uh, i really appreciated eric's help last year and i learned so much about his uh, multifaceted uh, way of helping others first of all he's a chartered accountant and mba holder as well as a business applications mvp He's well known in Ghana and within the worldwide community of low code advocates. He is an active member of the Power App super user community and assists power addicts all over the world with his business as well as technical expertise and his passion for helping others to achieve more. Thank you, Eric. And then finally, yours truly, you probably know quite a bit about me already, but um, like the others, in many cases, I founded my career building information solutions on SharePoint. But I fell in love with Power Apps when it was still in beta and ended up founding my own business building Power Apps solutions for construction. I joined the Power Apps team once the product had gone global availability with a focus on growing that community. So those of you from the early community may remember me. Today, I continue my customer obsession every day as a customer success PM and solution architect for enterprise customers serving with the Power Cat team. So look at all the people that are excited of sharing knowledge with you in these 25 days. You are going to be spoiled with the amount of information we will share. Now, as I said, I will share YouTube channels for each of these down, uh, each of these wonderful people right down below the video so that you'll have them along with the other resources. But before I go and let you look forward to day two, I do want to point out that as we go through these different um, experiences, there are some settings you want to keep in mind on the Power Platform. And so I've group them together by type. So there are some tenant settings and you can reach those in the Power Apps, uh, Power Platform Admin Center. There's environment feature settings. 
which also you'd have to go to the admin center and then go into the particular environment where this will be used. And then finally, if you're using Canvas apps, there are some Canvas app settings that you may have to enable, okay, in order to enjoy all the goodness that we're going to share. So I wanted to make sure you knew about these settings so that uh, if you ran into any problems, you could double check that these are enabled in your tenant. I wanted to kind of just as a last point, point out why this series is so important. Uh, there has been a lot of content about chat GPT. I've even seen wonderful people uh, using the API within their apps. But what actually makes chat GPT different from what we're going to discuss in these 25 days. Did you ever ask that question? Well, ChatGPT is a general purpose large language model. Some people say LLM, which is just an abbreviation, which is trained by OpenAI. And it's trained on a massive data set of texts designed to engage in human-like conversations and answer questions on many topics. So I think we've all used it. But here's where I want to point out a difference between it and what you'll see as you discover the Power Platform co-pilots. These are enterprise-ready AI, these enterprise-ready AI technologies are backed up by both Azure and OpenAI partnerships, which, what do they do for you? This partnership between OpenAI and Azure is they ensure that you have the same level of security and privacy that you've been experiencing in the Microsoft Cloud. For Dynamics 365 and Power Platform users, Copilot success suggest optional actions and content recommendations in context with the task at hand. And I think I mentioned that uh, earlier. So what you're going to see as you look at these different experiences is, is that they're pretty well scoped to what you're doing at that moment. And you will actually see how you will be able to do things um, that perhaps you were never even able to do. When I was at, at the Microsoft Ignite conference, I was showing someone the power of Power Automate uh, Copilot and how it was, you know, writing expressions. And it, it was um, Scott that was with me and Scott was doing all these demos and we were all just wow, wow, wow. And then someone came up who had never used Power Automate before. And the only sad thing I want to say is because they had never used Power Automate before, I don't know if they could appreciate just how much easier it actually was with the co-pilot. They will never actually have to learn how to write those expressions we used to have to write. So it's really cool um, as you see how we uh, have uh, released these amazing co-pilots to uh, help you achieve more. Um, I, uh, these are the different transformer models, and I, I bring them out because, you know, we talk about chat GPT, but often there's a heavy leaning on the text generation. Um, I do want to point out that this is expanding. Open AI is expanding. So it's not just about text or writing code or even creating images. There is more coming. So right now, just enjoy the wonderful value you have in day today, that partnership with Microsoft and OpenAI is going to be huge to ensuring that your data rests in the cloud and that your data is never used um, for training these models. And so I am looking forward to this, but I kind of want to know what you're thinking already. So if you could pick up your phone and just scan this QR code on the right. It'll bring you to a form where you can actually share with us what do you personally hope to see the most in this year's in this year in series on Copilots. Is it productivity tips for makers? Is it best practices in scaling the value of Copilots? Is it 
pro-dev opportunities for co-pilots? Or is it simply ideation on business scenarios for co-pilot? So all of these will be covered, already planned, but we'd love to hear what you're looking for the most because we might just adjust if you share, right? Because we want to align with your priorities. So I want to say welcome. I am so excited. Bookmark this. Um, you can find all of this at aka.ms 25 days of co-pilots with no space. Okay, no spaces, right? And that's where you'll find an aggregation of all the content day by day. I'll be adding each day as they occur to not spoil the secret in advance, but then you'll get to have all the days on that single AKA link forever. So enjoy, please do respond to the survey and I look forward to hosting with you the 25 days of co-pilots for December, 2023. Welcome and happy holidays.